We're back. It's been a while since our last update. Last fall, uh, we were here on the north side of the golf course with our State of the Union, and now we're back this spring with another State of the Union and talk a little bit about what we can expect over the course of the next several weeks as we get to that golf course opening the second half of July. And behind us, we already see some of the first cuts on the grass. This grass planted about 10 weeks after the grass on the south side of the road. And so, Brian, we experienced a lot of what we're seeing here over there. And when we get over there, we'll see how much further along it is. But why don't you talk to us a little bit about what folks are seeing here from the clubhouse and what your team's gonna be focused on over the next 10 plus weeks as we prepare for that opening. Overall, very encouraged with how the grass overwintered. We were exposed, didn't have a lot of snowfall that could have put us in a potential of desiccation of these young seedlings. However, we're seeing that in very limited areas. We do still see some areas just, I mean, those grass plants germinated last fall, but there really wasn't the temperatures for them to grow and spread. And so what you see is a lot of thin areas, as well as some areas where we did encounter some washouts. Um, seven approach on the horizon there. You can see we have sand base and all their approaches for that firm conditions. Well, that sand has a potential of washing out if you don't get that seed up in the right time frame. So we were exposed to a washout. However, we'll continue to work getting the more seed put into those. Some areas we just decide, all right, this is not working for us. We're gonna sod that out. And we have sod available to us to do that. So you'll see us continue to work throughout the course, improving these areas. We want as much seed as we can to go and then just use the sod in targeted areas where it's just really difficult due to washouts. You mentioned that 10 week difference from the south side of the road to the north side of the road. And that's remarkable, especially this time of the year, you walk on the two sides and you could definitely tell a difference. But I'm also encouraged by that because we have this period of time here of just great growing weather that we're gonna be able to mature this side of the road to get it closer to what you see on that south side of the road. Excellent, so all told, it sounds like the report over here, essentially what we expected, maybe better than what we expected, given the winter we've had, and you guys have a great plan to get the turf in great shape here over the course of the next several weeks. So maybe let's take a ride to the other side and see what we can expect from there. Well, here we are in 15 green, the first green that we seeded last year and in incredible shape, obviously still a ways to go uh, before we're putting on it. But Brian, you know, maybe talk to us about what we've seen here on this side, obviously not the same uh, blemishes we have on the north side of the road presently, uh, based on all the work you all did last year, but still some areas, I think some fescue grasses coming in a little bit later, you know, a little bit different um, growing pattern here on the, the bunker faces where we've got a different grass type, but maybe just give us the update on, on this side of the road. Yeah, so by planting this in early August, the grass plant germinated. So it set up a single leaf laid up. And then when we talk about maturing, we're talking about making that grass plant go from that single blade of grass and spreading. So there's multiple blades and ultimately, rather than going as much vertically, it's going horizontal. Here, just in those two months, we've seen that grass plant make that transition from the seedling emerging into a single leaf to now spreading and taking over ground, taking up as much ground as is given. So we see how the density increases just in that quick span of two months. And that's what we're waiting on that side. We just got our first mows on a lot of those areas on the north side. And with that mowing, it helps train that grass. All right, I'm not going up as well. I'm gonna start pushing it out laterally. So that's gonna help with the density. Uh, you mentioned about some of the fescue bunker faces on this side just being a little bit slower to start. Ultimately, the fescue loves it hot, dry. And so it's just starting to wake up. These bunker faces, we've just mowed once uh, so far, and you'll continue to see these turn from this tan color to the green that everyone is very familiar with, the bunker faces here at Interlock and Country Club. Also along the road, 11 ponds. It was very specific that we planted fescue grasses down to the water body, and we took from we actually sodded the bank that we felt is, was most prone to erosion. Above that sod was areas that we killed. We have to plant fescues and we killed that late in the year and that actually dormant seeded fescue into those areas. So that's why you still see 
the areas outside of the pond on 11 where we have a lot of seed germinating. It's just not fully flushed and grown in and started spreading ladder. Excellent. Well, there's a lot of things happening out here on both the north and south side of the road, and clearly you and your team have a terrific handle on it. I think one thing that's really neat to note is that probably for the first time in Interlochen's history, we're not recruiting a seasonal grounds crew. We had nearly 100% retention of our team from last year, and I think that doesn't just speak volumes to the, the kind of culture and, and team you've developed, but their passion for this project and wanting to, to see it through. And that's pretty neat to see um, with a bunch of high school and, and college age folks that have been a big part of this work over the last uh, 12 plus months. So it'll be a great year and we'll be back in a couple of weeks with another update and I'm sure a lot of progress.